See that mess? Yeah, that's for you guys. When's it gonna be done? Why do you tease us? Why do you just show the finished project? When's it gonna be done? <sighs> Actually, nobody said that, but <laughs> do you ever know anybody that goes Christmas shopping like really early, gets all their stuff, and then they just can't wait for Christmas? They say, oh, let me give me your present, let me give me your present, let me give me your present. That's me, okay? This is my Christmas present to each and every one of you guys. Uh, of you guys. So, with that said, I'm super dusty. I put in about four hours yesterday. I put in about six to seven hours today. I got it pretty much to where I want to show you, okay? It's not completely done. I, I ordered my polycarbonate, uh, polycarbonate today, so uh, that'll be in next week, and we'll go ahead and get everything hinged up and, and whatever. So, without further ado, I do have to say one thing. Just a few minutes ago, Somebody got on there, one of my subscribers, and completely nailed it. Nicholas Cormanic. Okay, if I destroyed your last name, I'm sorry, that's the best I'm going to do. Nicholas Cormanic pretty much nailed it. Okay, so with that said, Nicholas, appreciate you watching, appreciate you uh, commenting. Uh, he was pretty much right on the money, so let's go ahead and get to it. Now, Somebody do a drum roll, will you? Okay, thanks. Here we go. Oh, yes. This is the monster enclosure. Okay, so you're thinking, I don't know, looks like two enclosures stacked up. Yeah, right you are. But eight foot enclosure on the bottom, eight foot by 20 inches tall by two feet deep. This is the cool part. Check it out. Oh yeah. Okay, so what we have is an access port from the bottom of the eight foot. They can come up, go into the six footer section. Now, before I go anywhere else, I wanna show you this strip right here. All right, if anybody uh, decides to do this kind of project, make sure you put that strip there because if you don't, and what's gonna happen, you're gonna have to water seal all of this bottom right here. If they use the bathroom up here, you don't want it just running down into the eight foot section. Okay, so that is, you are looking at 26 square foot of space for my white lip python, which I think is fantastic, all right? I did mention something about the doors. So let me go ahead and clear that up right away. The concept that I had with the doors did not quite work as well as I thought it would uh, with PVC. So I had to kind of retract a little bit and go back to a standard uh, way, but uh, still in all, it's gonna be very cool. These are gonna be your standard drop down doors. Uh, as you can see, I've got one of the doors up here the locking system, just like the others that I have built. And these here are going to be hinged on the sides and they're gonna swing open this way, open this way. Stand by, I know what you're thinking. What the hell are you gonna do with that little last door? All right, this one's gonna swing open this way and then this one's gonna swing open this way as well. Now, small door. That, my friends, is the buffet door, all right? Snakes over here, snakes over here. I can just swing open this little tiny door with the forceps or, uh, yeah, the big handout rat things and go either way and not leaving a bigger area exposed for a snake with a really good feeding response to come at you through. So you got just a little door that you can go up to the side. I can even go up to this level and dangle it right here for over here. So it's going to be safe. How about that? That was kind of a, a last minute ad. I, I, I thought about it. The, the three doors when it was split up in three ways were quite a bit bigger. And of course with these doors, now if she's on this side, I can easily drop this side and, and put it in there. But there's just something about that really cool little door that I think is awesome. 
You guys might think it's stupid, but I don't care. I like it. So, 26 square feet. Now, let me explain the heat, uh, heating on this. We're gonna have a total of four radiant heat panels. I swear to God, if any of you guys want a border collie dog, and if you're ever in Alabama, come get them. This is the third time I've done this video. Okay, so getting back to before my blood pressure gets too high. Four radiant heat panels, four thermostats, four probes. We're gonna have one up here. This is gonna be set at about 88, 89 degrees. We're gonna have one on the top of the first level. That's gonna be about 86. We're gonna have one on the bottom of this platform that's gonna be set at about 82. And then we're gonna have one over here that's gonna be set at 76. That is going to give us a wide range of temperature variants all throughout the enclosure. It's going to be awesome. All right, so let me talk about the doors a little bit more. On the inside, let me go ahead and pull this off. You can see that I have this little lip right here. It's a half inch lip all the way around the window. One, keep the door all the way closed. You can actually push it in to lock it. And it's gonna be very stable. It's not gonna actually cave in or, or move into the enclosure. So with doing it this way, I eliminated my eighth inch gap that I use for ventilation on the six foot. So what I did is I put vents on the bottom of either side on the ends of the enclosure and allow that airflow to move all the way through and keep the moisture down, keep the uh, humidity more adjustable. And, and that's the other thing about this one here. This radiant heat panel, your water bowl is gonna go right in here. So with that heat panel directly over the water bowl, it's gonna create a little bit higher moisture and your humidity is gonna be up a little bit. So we need a little bit more airflow. Um, now granted, it's not gonna cover this whole area. So I'm not putting a heat panel here to heat the water it's going to be kind of in that back corner, but it is going to boost the humidity, which is what I had planned. There is a method to my madness, people. Do not question it. Okay, so we got an entry point here. We have one, two, three braces like this on the inside. That actually, let me show you. I'm gonna take the phone off so you can get a good look at the braces. All right, so you got those there that actually come down, they're screwed in from the back, the top, and the sides. Now, okay, that, that writing right there, that's just the sticker on the PVC, that'll be pulled off. But here's the cool thing about these braces. I did knock the edge off of the brace a little bit just enough to where it's not sharp anymore what those braces do and i noticed it with my other eight foot enclosure it is absolutely perfect for the snake to do a shed assist on they get up against that brace and boy they it just peels right back so it's actually shed assistance that's what i'm going to call them right now i may even put a sign on them on the inside the shedder. Yeah, that'd be stupid. Snakes can't read. All right, so this little portion right here, you will notice, again, it's not done. There'll be more trim. Now you'll see the notch right there. That is to ensure that everything lines up properly on the top part. So once I get this where it's going to be, I am not carrying that whole thing together. So this actually comes off. Once I get it set up in my layer, there will be four points of uh, where I screw down and attach both of the sides so it won't be able to shift or anything. Just with this notch right here, it actually lines up everything. It lines up the entry point for the second level and makes everything just flow. So that is the king build. Uh, 
Uh, let me know what you guys think. I know you were probably expecting something a lot more elaborate or uh, maybe bigger, I don't know. But 26 square feet of space, that's pretty good bit. You figure your T8s, they're eight square feet of space. Your uh, six footers are 12 square feet. So yeah, there is a lot of space to be utilized here along with all of the different temperature gradients. This center, what I'm hoping with the venting system, with the radiant heat panels where they're going to be, this center with my ambient temperature in my snake room being 71 degrees, this center on the bottom should stay right at about 73, 74. So that is yet another temperature that she can go to. Gonna have one heck of a happy snake. Um, Hopefully. The white lip python, um, I'm hoping that her attitude stays just the way it is, just as sweet as she can be. All right, in the comments below, let me know what you think. Do you think uh, I kind of hyped up for no reason that it was kind of blah or whatever? But I just thought I'd give you guys another idea, especially those with like one or two snakes. You got the time, and to be honest, this is three. Four, five. This is five sheets of PVC. So $70 a piece. Uh, that's if you buy in bulk, by the way. So you're looking at $350 for this uh, 26 square foot uh, enclosure. If you have the tools, go for it. It's super easy to build. Uh, I really you know, the, the more I went into it, the easier it got. So again, the platforms have the locking system, the, the lip that I had showed you on a previous video, both of them do. Now this one here does come the whole width of the enclosure because the glass panel will sit right up against there. There won't be any way for her to squeeze in between. It's going to be a huge basking platform. She actually fits very well on the smaller one. So we're just giving her uh, plenty of options. So let me know what you think. Put it in the comments below. I hope you liked it. I hope that it was uh, worthy of keeping you in suspense for about 24 hours. But uh, I just couldn't stand it. I had to work on it yesterday and today and get it done as far as I did. And uh, like I said, I got the Lexan coming next week for the windows. We'll get all of that put together. And then we'll do another video showing you the finished product with my white lip python in there just completely enjoying herself. I may have to put a media room in this. She may want to watch some movies. Uh, I may have to work the remote for her though. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.